Brachycephalics or the short-faced breeds like the Bulldogs, Pugs, Frenchie, Shih Tzus are one of the sweetest and most charming breeds of dogs. I know because I have five of them. But do you know that despite their amazing personalities, these breeds are likely to have the Brachycephalic Airway Obstructive Syndrome or BOAS as we commonly call it. What is Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome or BOAS? And what can you do about it? Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, my name is Dr. Tresho. I'm an animal doctor and every week we post videos, cases, topics and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week we are going to talk about the Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook. Please hit like and see first. Also, we are on Instagram, Doctors Animal Wellness Center, and my personal Instagram, Third Threshold. So what is Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome or BOAS? This refers to a series of abnormalities that commonly affect dogs with flat faces or short noses. Sila yung mga pango, maliit yung uso. No? Types of brachycephalic dogs include yung mga English Bulldogs, French Bulldogs, Pekingese, Pugs, Shih Tzus, and Boston Terriers. Brachycephalic obstructive and airway syndrome or BOAS occurs because these breeds have shortened skull, yung skull bones na maliit, that causes changes in the anatomy of particular tissue structures connected to the nose and throat. So, often these conformations can cause physical problems for your pet. Syndrome, it usually refers to one or the three, usually tatlo yan eh, tatlo yung uh, um, bumubuo ng syndrome na ito. No? An elongated soft palate. So, yung soft palate is located at the back of the roof of the mouth. It connects the bone to the soft tissues. No? Because the dog's soft palate is excessively long, haba siya, it protrudes into the airway. This prevents the normal flow of air into the lungs. Parang, ma, parang bumabara siya, no? Ito sa glottis, no? Number two, yung stenotic nares. This refers to a narrowed or pinched nostrils. Yung pag tinignan mo yung ilong ng aso mo, makikita mo, halos hindi, dapat bilog yan eh. Pero yung nangyayari, parang guhit na lang halos, no? And because the nostrils collapse inwards as the dog inhales, it makes it difficult for the dog to breathe through its nose. Maliit na nga, pag huminga ka pa, lalo siyang, lalo siyang sisikip. Lalo siyang sisikip. So, yung hangin na pumapasok, mas kakaunti na lang. So, dogs with boas will often predominantly breathe through their mouths. Makikita mo sila lagi, nakabuka yung bibig, labas yung dila, tsaka at lagi silang hapong-hapo o hirap na hirap kuminga. Ano, kung, kung maririnig nyo, pag inhale niya, yan no, parang hirap na hirap siyang kuminga. Because of the narrowed slit-like opening ng kanyang nostrils. At kahit nakapahing na siya, mamamanig mo yung stertor. Yung, yung parang nagihilik. Oh. Gising pero nagihilik. You know? Tsaka mararamdaman mo dito sa throat niya yung ano. Okay, so this guy is a candidate for the brachycephalic airway obstructive syndrome. Number three is the averted laryngeal saccules. No, with this condition, the tissue to the forefront of the vocal cords is drawn into the windpipe. Mas mahahaba siya, pumapasok siya dun sa windpipe, causing, you know, partial airway obstruction. Ano ba yung makikita mo clinical signs? Ano mo observahan mo if your dog is suspected to have boas? No, if your companion is one of the breeds commonly affected by boas, you may notice the following. Primary signs. No? May primary, may secondary. Yung primary, yung labored breathing, snorting, mga ganyan siya, or sometimes wheezing naman sa paghinga. No? And makakapansin ka rin ng frequent coughing, gagging, 
Loud snoring kapag natutulog sila. Minsan gising sila, pero malakas yung paghihilik nila kahit gising sila. No? Difficulty in eating and sleep apnea. No? Yung sa tao, sleep apnea, ang haba-haba ng tulog mo, pero pagising mo, parang pagod ka rin, puyat ka pa rin. No? That's why you always see these dogs always sleeping. No? In some cases, secondary conditions may be associated with boas also. I think secondary signs. And then yung bronchal collapse, problems with the GI, gastrointestinal tract, acid reflux, ano na, nagsusuka, chronic gastritis. No? How is brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome or BOAS diagnosed? So if your pet is a breed that is commonly affected by BOAS, yung mga minensyon natin kanina, and you're noticing some clinical signs na minensyon din natin kanina, you should consult your veterinarian as soon as possible. He or she will discuss your pet's medical history and perform a physical examination. No, further tests may be needed to confirm the diagnosis, such as usually magagawa ng examination of the throat, larynx, pharynx, and soft palate under general anesthesia. Yes, kailangan ng general anesthesia because hindi, for us to be able to examine all these areas, the throat, larynx, pharynx, and soft palate. Hindi mo naman pwedeng, you, you cannot ask your dog to say, uh, you know, say ah, or you know, just stay put. You know, kailangan, ano na, kailangan naka-anesthetize sila. Sometimes, we will also do some x-rays no, to, uh, of the chest and abdomen to check for any secondary conditions. In rare occasions, we will ask for a CT scan of the head um, to see the formation of the skull and nasal cavities. No? The million dollar question, Kailangan ba ng surgery? Kailangan ba ng dog ko ng surgery? So, surgical treatment for your dog if they're suffering from brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome or BOAS will not only improve your pet's quality of life, but with, it will also give them a longer life expectancy. So, pwede natin mapahaba yung buhay nila um, uh, by, by you know, correcting this uh, deviances, this... Uh, malformations. So, what imagine mo kung if you can give them the opportunity, these dogs the opportunity to breed properly, they can exercise better, you can, you know, have more time with them uh, rather than yung hirap silang kumilos o gumalaw because of boas. If surgery is performed naman early enough, it can prevent your dog from developing secondary conditions associated with boas. So, mas maagang gawin ang correction, mas maganda. During surgery, your vet will remove any excess tissue that is impeding airway flow. The procedure usually includes widening of the nostrils. Magkakaroon tayo ng, ng uh, nose lift no? dun sa, sa ilong nila. No? Shortening of the soft palate. Babawas tayo ng tissue dyan sa soft palate para hindi siya bumabara sa larynx. And removing the inverted saccules. Uh, makita mo dito, almost slit na lang yung kanyang, uh, yung nares, no? O yung nostrils, kung ka sa tao. No? So, this is part of the brachycephalic syndrome, stonotic nares, elongated soft palate, at saka uh, inverted laryngal saccule. So, what we're gonna do now is, uh, you know, widen uh, this uh, uh, this nostril, no? yung, yung, yung butas. So if you notice, immediately from a very narrow or very tight yung know, holes, mas uh, malaki na ngayon yung butas niya. No? parang hindi siya madugo. So, ini surgery concerning itong uh, the soft palate usually are usually very bloody. 
Post op care. Ano naman mangyayari post surgical care? No? After surgery, your pet will be given pain medication to make them comfortable and monitored in the clinic for up to 24 to 48 hours. Kasi nga, namamagay yung trachea nila eh. We will monitor them for difficulty in breathing, o kaya swelling, or bleeding. No? Once you bring your dog home for surgery, be sure that they get full weeks worth of complete rest. So, ibig sabihin, wala yung uh, strenuous activities that could get them into breathing hard. Hindi wala yung takbuhan, yung harutan, at saka yung walks be kept very short pag pupup lang or iihi lang sa labas if necessary. You will most likely also need to feed your pet only soft food for the next two to four days or after surgery. Your veterinarian may also recommend low-fat dog food to help promote recovery. After two more weeks, you should begin to notice drastic improvements in their in their condition. Uh, yung bawa symptoms unti unti nang nawawala, and some will have disappeared completely. Specifically, they should be able to breathe more easily and they should no longer be snorting or suffering from sleep apnea. Your pet should now be able to enjoy more exercise, which means leading a healthier life. Remember that your pet needs to maintain a healthy weight as obesity can cause BOA symptoms to return. So if you think that your pet has brachycephalic airway obstructive syndrome, please see your veterinarian for an assessment or visit any of our doctors animal wellness centers so our veterinarians can assist you. Please see the numbers written here. We have a new branch in the south. It's in Santa Rosa, Tagaytay Road. So for our viewers in the south, it is at the Santa Rosa, Tagaytay Road. So check out our new branch. We also have wags and whiskers in Cavite, so call these numbers written below. This has been your vet, Doc for Thank you for listening. Like this page and see you again next week.